You want to take us to Jason's question? I can do so. Uh, a okay. long time listener and love the show as always. It would be awesome to see the props that you used to create the show album artwork. The artwork capture the the artwork captures the show title and the show and the title so well. Perhaps simply just including in the show notes, I consistently see the artwork and wonder what was the prompt they used to create that. Ooh. For the latest egg and chicken problem, the best reverse engineered prompt I could find was painting of a teacher and a chicken in a classroom, creative VFX, science poster, funny cartoonish, identical prime lens, no <laughs> yellow color, eggshell color, uh, hisham, hibachi, this kind of smart, epic, diptych, uh, in a lab, reduce duplicate content, very nerdy, doesn't seem to get it right. Uh, are you all using Dolly 3 via chat GPT plus for creation? And because I love to create more work for Dave, I promised uh, all the listeners that Dave would put in every show note, every prompt, every, uh, just, <laughs> I, you know, it's a good idea. Much, but, it's totally fine. Yeah, it, yeah. it was interesting reading this because I often <laughs> do when I'm inspired by something we've said in the show that I think, oh, this would make a good title. Let's see what the artworks is. I will create in real time the, the artwork while we're doing the show. Right. Because of that, the prompts are much shorter than you might think. Yes. But I but I I consider it in this instance, it's not that I have an image in mind that I am trying to get chat GPT to draw for me. If that were the case, I would give it you know, a paragraph full, like, you know, like Jason said. Yeah. And it, then it for, will ignore half of them anyway. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't, and it especially doesn't iterate on artwork well at all. It, like if I tell it, oh yeah, what you just made is awesome. Make this one change. What you nope. get next is remarkably different. It's yep. almost unrelated. So the one for last week for 1026, uh, all I said was, um, I'd wanted, I wanted two options at once and I did. I, yeah. Uh, well, you're showing this week's Pete. So oh, yeah, no, no, never mind. <laughs> it's fine, but that's fine. You can leave Should that leave out because, because this is right. probably what will be this week's image. But last week I wanted just two options and I didn't want to have to go back and tell it, make me another option. So I said, make me two wide aspect ratio images that illustrate the egg and chicken problem humorously different from the chicken and egg problem. Right. I, I wanted it. <clears throat> To be the reverse of that, make it nerdy if you want, and definitely make it funny. Right. And that's that's what I said, and uh, and and that's it, you know. And and I got I got the first thing that I got was the image that we wound up using with the the two eggs being nerdy in their respective laboratories, and I was like, well, that's kind of what I asked for, but uh, yeah. you know what, that's good enough. And so I thought, well, I and so my next prompt was great. Now make just one image. And it did. And that one you folks didn't see. But if you're watching the video, I'm, I'm scrolling through it now and on ChatGPT. And this looks like the, the Senate, uh, you know, like the Senate chambers of old uh, with chickens and eggs as the people. And it's it's weird. You know, and I, I thought about using that one. And then I said, make one image that looks more like the right half of the first one. And it kind of did that for me. And I almost did that. And this was a chicken with an egg floating in the air in a laboratory with beakers and, and that sort of thing. And by that point, I was like, all right, I have three choices. I'm going to pick one of these. And I wound up picking the first one and, and off we went. So that was last week. Um, this episode, which at this moment in time has not yet been published for me, but at this moment in time for most of you listening, it has been published for you. So you will know what image we have chosen but I thought, oh, this idea of rat gox, like that's kind of funny, like reasonable and trusted geek of choice. So I said, create a wide aspect ratio image of rat gox and make it funny. And then in parentheses, I put for reference, that means reasonable and trusted geeks of choice. And uh, it made me probably the image that we'll use with a bunch of people in a room, some of them nerdier than others. It's a very cluttered room. And it says <laughs> rat gox at the top. And. And the it actually text, spelled it correctly. <laughs> it spelled rat got correctly. The text underneath it, if I leave it in there, is absolutely not even close to right. But it's gibberish. <laughs> it's gibberish, right? Uh, but you know, it's it's got the vibe. And I said, amazing. Make another, please. Which I've learned. I just keep, you know, keep telling it to iterate. 
And then we get this one of like a scientist with his head in the clouds and a it couple looks of like dogs. rat ears too, almost. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's see. You know, make it rattier. So I don't know what I don't know what they'll happen with that. You know, it takes I don't know. It takes about thirty seconds for it to make an image. So I don't know what's going to happen yeah. with with this. But but yeah, I'm using Dolly, and I the, I am not again. I'm I'm using Chat GPT or Dolly as a collaborator in this, not as grunt work, right? And and there's a difference because I'm willing to kind of go with whatever it might show me within reason, and. It, that's unlike where if I tell it to, <laughs> well, I know and what image we're using. It just came, the rats <laughs> just came, the nerdy rats just came up. And these of course are the ones that you're going to see on, uh, on the episode show notes. Yep. But if you want to see the rest, you can, uh, you can watch the YouTube video, of this segment and, and it'll have it in there. But, uh, but yeah, I'm willing to just kind of like, you know, let the process evolve and whatever happens, happens. Gosh, that's freaking brilliant. <laughs> Right, the cheese and everything. <laughs> cheese, oh, nuclear floating. symbol on the balloon. Oh uh, yeah, it's great. My favorite still is uh, go look at episode ten oh nine, folks. Uh, that was uh, where you have our permission, and uh, we mentioned the term goat rodeo, and oh boy, yep, yep, <laughs> almost broke out laughing like this. Yeah, th- <laughs> mid episode. Yeah, because so, Pete can Pete, Pete and Adam can see my screen, my shared screen all the time, even if it's not on the screen. It, it's in like a little preview window for for those of us, you know, recording the show. And uh, yeah, 